Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't it kind of cool that the son and I kind of took a break at the same time? All right, yeah. Quiet sun. Following months of almost uninterrupted solar activity, the sun has taken a break. And I took a week break because my much advertised ahead of time, my mom was having a wedding, which went wonderfully. I had tons of family in town. So I am back, and I'm guessing the sun will be back to being very active sometime in the near future. Right now, there are only a handful of sunspots. Hey, Venus cloud discontinuity? Oh, okay. What are we talking about? A towering wall of acid clouds is racing through the atmosphere of Venus. Luigi Marone photographed it from Agarolo, Italy, June 4th, question mark, asterisk. Yeah, we're talking about Venus cloud discontinuity. What does it mean? I don't even really know, so let us read together. What it's called is Venus cloud discontinuity, says Marone, who is part of an international network of amateur astronomers who have been tracking the massive structure. He used a 14-inch Celestron nerd telescope to record discontinuity twice. Discontinuity. In 20 minutes. What happens is the Venus cloud discontinuity is a relatively new discovery photographed by Japan Venus orbiter Akatsuki in 2016, the first spot of the JAXA scientist Javier Peralta. Man, I got to get good at this again. The massive structure cuts vertically across Venus's equator, stretching almost 5,000 miles from end to end. The circles and the planet faster than 200 miles an hour, making one lap every five Earth days. Researcher, researchers followed up. I mean, I got no excuses because Venus is direct. Wait, Mercury's direct. And Saturn's gone retrograde, which we call karma season. So remember to keep your karma clean. But you basically get a giant bump or lump in the clouds on Venus. What causes it? Nobody really knows. That's part of the fun of science is you get major WTFs. And then you try and figure out, what the fudge is that? So we got time to figure this out. I think I got a lot to talk about in this video, but maybe not. Did you miss me? Because, oh, did I miss you? Hey, but guess what? The severe weather has been around and will continue, I would guess. Today, tonight, we are tracking major multiple storms pushing through central United States of America. And so be on the lookout if you are in the yellow or you are in the orange this evening. And then tomorrow, you got another big heart-shaped hunk of chunk of burning love of severe weather danger area to watch out for. They may put an orange bean in there by the time we get to Wednesday. Day. So if you're over here, be on the lookout. Giant hail has definitely been a theme. And then Thursday, you get more of the same as we have another area, although not as large, to look out for for severe weather. And then day four which we will call friday is another day you got to look out for severe weather in like arkansas mississippi alabama so yeah the trend of multiple severe weather days back to back to back wave after wave after wave continues and then what i've been talking about since last month is the next hurricane watch period i believe will come around the 14th ish or i guess around the 17th we watch for more possible formation in the CAG area that may cause more flooding problems for Florida or just the general area. Who knows? We will have to track it with the Storm Alex. That was just a giant hunk of rain that slammed into Miami. So I'd say the Prairie Warriors and Atmospheric Defense team did an A-plus job because that thing didn't even turn into a tropical storm. But it did, ca did cause a lot of flooding problems for the Miamians. Yesterday, the DFW area hit 100 degrees, and in the near future, you're getting an extreme clam bake heat wave. We're talking extreme heat, heat wave to bake Texas. I threw an Elvis joke in there. Oh, I saw Top Gun with my mom and her husband. That was fantastic. I don't know if you've seen it. I really liked it. But yeah, we're talking about the Southwest as we approach August. It's, it's, it's just June. But yeah, we're talking about super mega heat wave down into like arizona and california and parts of nevada you guys are gonna get super duper hot man we're talking possible excessive and very dangerous life-threatening heat 
So stay on top of it. You could try to make a suit of armor of those icy pop things, you know, that are so good during the summer. TDS weather model guidance continues to support a large upper level ridge as we get into mid to late June across central US. This would bring widespread above average temperatures. Uh, okay. Hey, remember since the moment that Elon announced he was buying Twitter, I was like, yeah, that deal's probably going to fall through. Well, definitely over the last week, it looks like the deal is going to fall through. Um, people get mad at me when I just try to say what I think is going to happen and then it happens. But yeah, dude. Anyway, we got this spot to watch right now just below Central America and the Mexico for possible tropical development. And remember, during hurricane season, water will kill your ass. Because wind is not the biggest killer during major storms. It's water. And people who are carbon monoxiding themselves. So don't do that. Oh my god, everything is expensive. Especially gasoline. And they're like, you know what? Gasoline is going to get more expensive. And I'm like, oh. Certain areas have seen quite a bit of flooding in the last week, from what I could tell. And Matthew Capucci whose name sounds like cross between a gangster and a cappuccino he's like hey washington and surrounding areas you guys could get some flooding tomorrow in in the wednesday you know hey virginia the russia invades ukraine war has hit over 100 days and north korea is now like don't make us nuke you you know to the united states of america i don't even understand how you know why they're always mad at each other. i don't understand why everybody's mad at everybody but it seems like whatever he's going to do for the rest of our lives. So I guess you got to go with it and best prepare as much as possible. A lot of times on Twitter, people make dumb maps to get attention. And this map is dumb. All right. Just letting you know here in case you want to slow down, freeze frame it, get mad at it. Go ahead. I guess I got pissed at the Wisconsin Dells because I like the Wisconsin Dells. Man, I hope I get back to slam dunking it soon. You know what I'm saying? Does it feel like society is slowly deteriorating? Maybe, but we are Astro Fight Club and we're going to do the very best we can with the hand we've been dealt wherever we are. Right? Correct? All right, let's mock 10 this shit. I technically mock 10.4. All right, I'm back, Jack, and the video should come back at you daily, usually now. All right. I love you, Astro Fight Club. I'll never leave you for good. But like I said, I had tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of family in town. And we had my mom's wedding. And so I gave a lot of time to that and family and, you know, my new job. So, but I'm back on the saddle, uh, riding the horse with my metaphors. I might be a bit rusty. Hope you guys still love me. I still love y'all and I missed y'all. Okay. So, I mean, I ain't got to bang it all out in this, and I ain't got to be unrusty on this one. And I don't think I'll be doing active fundraisers this summer, because I needed a break from them. You needed a break from them, them. But if you do send in a contribution or a donation at any time to Thor News, A, it always helps, and B, I will always say thank you. So please, let me say thank you to all of Asteroid Fight Club for all your support, and let me say thank you to Darlene, Patricia, Alexis, Lauren, Barbara, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, and Max, and you. All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I'll talk to y'all in the near future. And I bet I talk to y'all again before the night is over so I can get back into the swing of things. Stay cool because that's what we do. God bless everyone.